Hey, welcome back to my channel. So, girl, uh, as y'all can see, it's the front, the back. And we're gonna wash my hair. I'm giving you guys my wash routine for when I have had my hair braided down. I know it looked crazy, I know it looked a mess, but we're going to get it right on together. So if you want to see my wash routine, then just keep on watching. You guys already know I have thick hair, so I have to part my hair in four sections. Every time I wash or do anything to my natural hair, I always section it off because my hair is so thick and it's a lot of hair on top of it being very thick. And yeah, it just helps me to really get all of my hair washed and i'm gonna take the shea moisture shampoo this is the coconut and hibiscus from the coconut and hibiscus line curl and shine shampoo uh, with silk protein and neem oil it cleanses and hydrates thick curly hair so this is made for thick curly hair girls like myself and I start from the root and I really rub it in. I make sure I scratch it in to make sure that my hair, because my hair is, is dirty. It's really dirty. I had my wig on for about like two months, I believe. For about two months. So I really make sure that I really am massaging this shampoo in my hair, starting from the root and really getting all of the dirt off of my scalp and off of my hair. And then I'm just working my way down and detangling like finger combing as I go that's another method to help me make sure that I get every strand of my hair and that all of my hair is washed thoroughly I just finger comb as I go and just so I can tame it better I finger comb it as I go and just make sure that I'm really washing my hair really good this shampoo smells really good I love Mm, I love the smell of the shampoo. It smells amazing. And it has coconut oil in it as well. And it hydrates and protects your hair. And I really like this shampoo. This is my favorite shampoo as far as like natural hair products go. This is my favorite shampoo. I always use this shampoo. I've gotten this shampoo. I've read up on this a couple of times. Ooh, and this is, look how, look, my hair looks so pretty like it looks very pretty and it just really does my hair very good and I love this stuff Shea Moisture even though it is very disappointing that they are not black owned they still have really great products that I love to use And then I just wash it out. And I take the comb and make sure that it's really detangled even further. And I also have that uh, detangler at the back. That's that uh, mane and tail detangler. Sometimes I use it. Today I didn't have to use it. But sometimes I use it when I can't get through my hair. And when my hair is just not cooperating with me. That really helps me. But look. Oh, it looks so pretty. So I'm, I'm crunk now because, okay, we got one section down, three more to go. So I just work in sections, and it's really the same routine. I just wet my hair. I make sure that my hair is really wet first before I put any type of shampoo on my hair. So this is just water, and the curls are coming together. The curls are coming back, and then I put in the shampoo, like I said, from the root, and then work my way down, finger combing, get really massaging all of the shampoo in my hair, making sure to get every strand of my hair. And yeah, and two months to y'all may seem like a lot, but it's like that's really how my hair grows. Like it may seem like, yeah, that was like nasty how, how my hair was looking, but it's like my hair grows when it's braided up, when it's dirty, and when it's, you know, put up and I'm not touching it and I'm not putting heat on it. It is completely put away. That is how my hair grows the best. I feel like that's like one of the top things that I did that really grew my hair back was to put my hair up and not have all that heat. I completely cut heat out of my hair for about a good 
at least three to four years at least if I know cutting heat out completely but like as far as like being natural if you watch any of my other tutorials then you know I've been natural for years like years probably like probably like what at least eight or nine years Oh wow, I've been natural for a while. But yeah, and I also have other natural tutorials on my channel. If you have not checked those out, go watch those. I have a couple of natural hair tutorials. So make sure y'all go watch some more videos and y'all subscribe if you want to see more natural hair tutorials. And yeah, don't mind my armpits. I couldn't shave my armpits because I was going to go get them waxed. And that was my first time ever getting my armpits waxed. And y'all, pain level 10 out of 10, period. Like, people was really telling me that armpit wax does not hurt as bad as a Brazilian. And they lied. They lied. Like, I was literally in there screaming when I was getting my armpits waxed. That was the worst pain ever ever would not recommend <laughs> like zero stars no way but i feel like i just need to start getting my armpits waxed because shaving them every day is just way too much and you know when you wax you cannot shave so i couldn't shave and uh, yeah so just excuse that <laughs> but yeah i'm using the for conditioner Sorry, I didn't even get to tell y'all what I was using. I'm, I put the Jamaican Castor Oil Strengthening and Restore Conditioner. It has shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar in it. It's to soften and nourish natural chemically product, uh, chemically processed and heat styled hair. So this is for every in all types of hair. But the Jamaican Castor Oil is really good for growing your hair and repairing your hair. So I love this conditioner and I let this conditioner sit on my hair. Uh, I left it on there honestly for a couple of hours and then I rinsed it all out. But you can like let it sit, you know, for maybe like what, 45 minutes and put like a little plastic cap on it. Or really however long you want. I just let it sit on there for however long I want. And I just really like comb it out, make sure it gets to every strand. And it says on the bottle to leave it in there for three minutes and rinse or whatever, but I don't be doing it. I'll be doing my own thing once I'm letting my hair sit in some conditioner. And yeah, I really like to do this once I've had like a sew in on my hair. Or, or not a sew in, what am I talking about? A wig on my head for some months when my hair has been braided down for some months. I like to do this to just give my hair back that nutrient you know like the oil and just really really get my hair all the all that good stuff like the Jamaican castor oil really replenish and nourish my hair again after it's been dry and under a wig and just braided up and matted up and gelled up and weaved up so yeah and I just comb it through every strand and I really like this stuff this one has a it has a nice smell. It's kind of like a different smell, but it isn't a bad smell. I like the shampoo smell better. But as y'all can see, Shea Moisture they got some bombs. I love Shea Moisture when it comes to like natural hair brands, and it it does. Look at my hair. It does my hair so good. So this is after I had let it sit in there for a couple of hours, and now I'm just rinsing that out. The conditioner out and I did not show you guys what I did next because I was going to get my hair braided after this so I had to break the little natural rules and I had to blow dry my hair out because you have to have your hair stretched so I didn't want to show y'all that because this is part of <laughs> a no heat natural type of deal so I just wanted to show y'all really my wash routine and tell you got recommend these two products and it's only two products you don't even need 16,000 products to have a good hair regimen these are just two products and boom like you got it done you got your good shampoo 
and you have a good conditioner and you are you, you don't need a million products <laughs> so if you guys thought that this was helpful then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah do not forget to subscribe and tell everyone you know to subscribe but I am gonna give y'all this honestly was the messiest video that I have ever did it was water everywhere like it was water everywhere I'm just like wow and to all the girls that wash their hair in the shower like y'all are like y'all are super y'all got superpowers I never washed my hair in the shower I only washed it for the purpose of this video I didn't just want my head to just be in the sink so yeah I had to wash it and then something about you know yeah it just it just don't sit right with me you know just me having to wash my hair in the shower I always get soap in my eye but I did good with this video because I really didn't get soap in my eye until the very end so I really did good or shampoo in my eye to or whatever in my eye to the very end but still and it was just it was just crazy but I probably I probably won't see another wash routine for a minute but yeah leave some hair product suggestions in the comments below and let me know if y'all try these out tag me on Instagram if you do or if you want to try them out Leave me some comments below, like this video, and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, tell everyone you know to subscribe to my channel, watch some more natural hair videos, or watch all of my videos, whatever you want to see. And this is just the end, this is just how it looks, you know, type 4 hair, thick, she thick, uh, she too thick, and this is how it is and thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye